This tutorial will introduce you to layouts and backgrounds in photo to movie I assume that you've already watched the photo to movie introduction video and the timeline video. I'm going to start by adding a bunch of photos to use as examples. I'll use the desktop photos that come with Mac OS. Once I drop in the photos and move the scrubber, you can see that the photo fills the entire video area. We can change that. I click over here to select the photo track. Now the inspector for the photo track appears. You'll see that we have three tabs, layout, frame, and background. I'm going to start with the frame tab. The frame specifies what part of the video to use for these videos. I'm going to start easy and hit the 10% button. You'll notice that the photo has now been inset by 10% on all sides. You'll also notice that the background color is also showing through here. I'll talk more about that in a second. You can adjust the frame to something more interesting, like this. Now, you might use this area over here for titles. But I'll stick with the 10% all around for now. Next I'm going to adjust my background. Right now this is just a solid color showing through but I'm going to change it to something more interesting. My photo track is still selected over here, so I will switch now to the background tab in the inspector. One thing to notice is that the background is set to solid, but for this layout, the color is fully transparent. So what we're actually seeing in the preview is the overall document background, not the background for the layout. The overall document background is set in document info. But for this specific layout, I can change the background to another color like this. I need to be sure to change it to opaque by changing this value, the alpha value, to 255. But I really want to change the overall style, not just the color. So I choose a new style to be textured. And for a bit of extra interest, I'll set the motif to sun, moon, circle. You can see here the nice textured background with the motif. Next I will change the layout. I switch to the layout tab here. Right now the layout is a one by one grid, which is the default. That means just one photo appears on the screen at once. We can change the options on the grid layout. I change the grid size to two by one, which means that two photos will appear simultaneously. I will also adjust the spacing between the photos to make it look a little nicer. And you can see what would happen if we choose 3x2. Three, three photos across and two up and down. The photos have their motion effects applied in the order in which they appear in the timeline. In this way, one photo always has the focus at a given time. It also allows you to easily specify which transition will occur when the photo is first shown. You'll notice that when this photo appears, this is the active transition in the timeline. This will tell how the photo transitions in from the last one that was in that position at the top left. I'm going to set it to flip. Now you can see the transition when this photo appears. Photo to Movie comes with a few basic layouts, so I'll select the photo track at the left again. Now I'll use the inspector to look at a few other layouts. Finally, you'll want to watch the Introduction to Photo Effects tutorial too. It will cover simple things like adding a border to your photos to make them look nicer. That's it for the introduction to layouts and backgrounds.